Yeah. Check. Time, weather, and... Greetings Chicago, Friday Night Lights, thank you for having me. My name is Wilhelm Duke, I'm a writer, rapper, and recording artist with Ever Evolved. I encourage all Chicago artists, whether you're a recording artist, a musician, a painter, what have you, to submit your works to everevolved at gmail.com. We do free write-ups and articles, we also do commissioned articles and write-ups, as low as $5, all the way up to 100 I can guarantee that if you submit to Ever Evolve, our team of writers will hear your works. I can't guarantee you'll be placed, but unlike other Chicago platforms, we take the time to go in depth, analyze your work, and explain it and make it look good. We are back at Friday Night Lights with our final guest, Orlando Cool. Oh. Yo, yo, hold on. Hold on. I'm, at, I'm at Friday Night Lights, my bad. Oh yeah, let me call you back. Yeah, yeah. Very important phone call. My bad. No, you good. Good to see you, Orlando. How you been? Chilling, man. Tell us stuff. I've seen you in a minute, man. It's damn quarantine shit. It's been a while, man. Um, just been trying to stick with music. Just like, <clears throat> I finished my album, uh, Sodatsu. Yeah, okay. Which means um, to grow. My first one was Sotada, which means to begin. So Sodatsu is to just grow. Just like a kind yeah, of theme. Continuation just, of theme. Yeah, like okay. Buster Rhymes had When Disaster Strikes, Anarchy, like all that. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, so yeah, did think I decided that. I was trying to do something like that with uh, my it's progression. It's quarantine. Thing. People got to challenge themselves creatively. Like, what else are you going to do? You know, there's uh, so many times you can watch a TV show. You know? Really, the way that I've been challenging myself has been uh, through making collages and like artwork. And I've seen like a few that. of them uh, heavily uh, sports influenced. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, sports influenced and a lot of like civil rights stuff because like it's just fucking crazy right now. There's a lot going on, a lot of division, racial division and yeah, stuff. Yeah. So it's crazy just trying to like speak on that, document the times, and like also correlate it to you know back when the civil rights movement was happening in the '60s. Like it's not much different. It's, yeah, it's you know, modern day. That's yeah, all it is. same thing. Just now speaking it's through your art. art. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So originally, uh, you're from the West Coast, right? Facts. Inland Empire, Los Angeles, in between okay, okay. both. Uh, what well, made you made that transition to the Midwest, Chicago? Um, so I went to Columbia, uh, Columbia College. Okay. I studied audio engineering because uh, I wanted to learn how to mix and master my own music and such. And like, if I wasn't going to mix and master my own music, I could communicate with the engineer yes, what I want to hear, what I need to hear. Um, so it just it was just really a, an idea to make the process of recording cheaper and easier when I decided to pay more, you know what I'm saying? So, um, and then I made great connections from oh, Columbia. Build, building that network. Yeah, yeah. The network's, the network's been the biggest thing for sure. Like, you could probably pay for the education anywhere else. You're paying essentially said. for the contacts you make there that are going to help you the next 10, exactly, 20 years. Exactly, yeah. And then even like, even if the contacts weren't made there at Columbia, the contacts I met from Columbia led me to the contacts that I made now. So it was, exactly. it was a good move all in all. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so you're a jack of all trades in a sense. You're a music producer, you're a music artist, you're a battle rapper, and you're a graphic designer. Did that all just happen at once, or was it like along the road you pick this up, pick that up, pick that one up? So before anything, I was a, I was a, a artist. So I've been drawing pictures and shit since I was like four or five years old. Well, like so I that came originally. Yeah, like so that was like the, ver the very first artistic thing I was doing. Like my mom's not really that artistic. My dad's not really that artistic. Um, what do you, you know think? What is it that caught your attention to it? I couldn't even tell you, bro. Honestly, like I just picked up some crayons and started drawing one day, like when I was a kid, <laughs> and they were like, "Oh, you're okay. You're pretty good." I'm like, "All right, well." Keep and, going, then, keep going. and then I just started like, uh, I started studying it myself. I got a little uh, drawing book when I was in fourth, third or fourth grade. And I really like started to study techniques and stuff like that. Um, and then from there, it just like grew into probably like my high school years was when I was like really drawing the most. And then I'd stop drawing like literally cold turkey from 18 to 32. You know what I'm saying? Like I haven't drawn in like since two years before now, so it's like 14 years of just like not drawing or like drawing very sparingly. Like I'll draw one picture 
over like the course of five years. So how did that turn from not drawing into graphic designing? Um, I had always wanted to, but I saw that everything was going digital and it just didn't make sense to try to keep up with everybody doing uh, analog, like drawing like hand sketches and stuff. Like I still like doing that. I still like doing uh, painting and stuff like that. But the digital, the the transition time it is for you to like, okay, somebody wants a logo, bam, I'm on the digital, I'm drawing already. I don't have to transfer it from a piece of paper, scan it, yeah. do everything, you know what I'm saying? Like it doesn't have to be perfect until like, you know, it's just, it just takes a lot of steps out of the process for me. And then um, just to keep up with the Joneses basically, cause everybody's working digital now alongside uh, paper and, and canvas and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So I just wanted to make sure that I could keep up with the, with what with the times changing and everything. It's gotta evolve with it, gotta exactly, evolve with it. So. Yeah. Start off as an artist. How do you get in the battle scene and becoming a music artist? Did one, did battle rap come first, or did making music come first? Uh, making music definitely came first. Um, I started rapping probably my junior year of high school. I met this cat. His name was uh, Slick, Slick the MC. He's from uh, Massachusetts originally, and then uh, I was in Arizona, and. I kind of like started listening to more hip hop around the time. Like I kind of grew up on R and B, like old school and shit. So hip hop was there, but it wasn't really a uh, main focus to me. And then I heard a track by um, Talib Kweli called "Fly Till I Die" with Pete Rock on the on the beat, and I was like, "Yo, this is fucking fire! Like this is what hip hop should be to me." And then uh, it just inspired me to start like writing and recording. And for sure, like my first stuff was ass. Like it was, if I was listening to myself now from back then, I'd be like, yo fam, hang it up. Like, you need to go <laughs> ahead, go ahead and make moves to another, you know, get back to drawing or something. Cause I don't, I feel like it took a while for me to really like find my voice just because hip hop wasn't ingrained, like instilled in me, you know what I mean? Like I knew popular songs or whatever. Like I was, I'm from the West Coast. I know Snoop and Dre and stuff, but it was never like, I had to learn from the ground up without really a mentor. Like my mentors were- Yourself. Uh, yeah, yeah, mentor basically who I listened to. So. Um, I started around like my junior year of high school and then progressed. Um, once I got hurt playing football though uh, in college, that's when I really like transferred over and like I'm gonna take music like real serious and like take this. And more that downtime. Time. Yeah. And then I moved to Chicago when I was 23. So probably like 10 years of like taking it serious. And then even like, even since then, like maybe like three or four years of like really like putting in the hard, in the ground, hard in the time. Like, I put in my 10,000 hours to get to the point where I'm comfortable, you know? So 10, now it's, hours. yeah, so now it's, hours. so now it's time to like capitalize on that. So uh, to come back to all that, battle rapping came from um, like, you know, you freestyling, you're rapping in circles and stuff and ciphers and like, it's kind of a battle already. Like you're yeah, trying to, yeah, you're yeah. trying to put I'll out your best almost, stuff. Yeah, you're then it trying turns to, yeah. the bars or hitting somebody. Exactly, yeah, 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 you know? And um, I was watching battle rap uh, early in the days and I always wondered like how the fuck do I get into this? Like how do I get on the battles? Yeah, how do I get on this? Started, yeah. And then uh Jezai from Slump Gang, shout out Jezai the dishwasher. Shout out Jezai. He got on um he got on No Coast and he battled my guy Jay Walker. And I hit up Jezai, I'm like, yo, who'd you talk to? And then he put me on to Pompey. You know what I'm saying? So he put me on to Pompey and Pompey was like, Yeah, uh, we do this and my very first battle was Chuck West. Uh, shout like, out Chuck West. Yeah, shout out Chuck West, man. Like I didn't, I didn't really want to battle Chuck West because we're friends. I'm like, man, I don't got really no animosity towards you, but he was so persistent about it. I'm like, like I guess I got to battle you. You know what I mean? It was fire. Chuck West came with some, like he just came with like real theatrical shit. Uh, but yeah, that was like, I'm like a little more aggressive, so it was like my, yeah, yeah, more yeah. my lane. So, um, but yeah, that's that's how I got started, and then I just took it off from there. Took off, kept going. Yeah. So when you say. Uh, the R&B, you listened to heavily back, uh, that when you were growing up. Yeah. I could tell that in your production, because when I was uh, engineering uh, Robert Barron by Wilhelm Duke, mm -hmm. you had produced that for him, and a lot of it was very like R&B samples. Yeah, so like you could, smooth, you could hear like, that, you could hear it in it. Yeah. And then we worked together as well. Like, yeah, no. Yeah, a lot of, fire production. A lot of my like production is is very like is more so on the smooth side. I grew up on Pete Rock, Jay Dilla, like a lot of that smooth production. Yeah, so yeah. the jazz, uh, soul, hip hop is just like right in my lane. I've actually started doing a lot of house music lately, uh, just like on some some left field shit, just Challenge trying yourself. to, yeah, Challenge just trying yourself. to expand the bag, really, because like, you know, you never know what what's going to stick, you know, and if you Very got true. the talent to do something, why not do it and just add it to your 
to your collection. You know yeah, it's, I mean? it's trial and error, you know? Yeah. You hit a button by mistake, you're like, oh, wait. That actually sounds wrong. Let's, yeah, let's, yeah, let's, yeah. let's keep getting this going. So yeah, exactly. You're a big uh, NBA fan, basketball fan? Yes. Growing up, you yeah. played teams when you were coming up, or you were just like in the playgrounds all the time? Uh, both, man. I played, uh, so I've been playing organized ball since my second grade year. Uh, I played organized ball all up until, like, I still play organized ball in, like, uh, Chicago Sport and Social and shit, so, like, I definitely play with refs and everything, but if I can't play with refs, I'll be out there on the court, so I'll go find some indoor, like, I go to uh, export a lot and just go in there and hoop at least. Like, so, I work at a bar when COVID's not cracking, um, so... I get out of work like two two thirty in the morning, three o'clock in the morning. I'm going to the gym after I get off of work and putting up jump shots. Like after work, like till four four in the morning, five in the morning, then going home and sleeping. You know what I'm saying? Like basketball, it's like literally part of my blood. You know what I mean? So, um, funny thing is, I started. Um, there's a shout out lessons.com because I wanted to get into coaching and stuff, and um, I just started getting into coaching basketball, um, like skills coaching and shit. So, oh, there you go. All right. Awesome. Yeah. How do you feel about these the uh, uh, rapper hoopers out here? Man, <laughs> man, honestly, <coughs> it's not a rapper hooper in Chicago that can hoop with me. I'm just, I'm just gonna say that challenge, in Chicago, challenge, like, challenge. you know what I'm saying? Like I've hooped, I've Remember, hooped from uh, the West Coast to the East Coast to the Midwest. You, uh, you, know, you put you a know, status up talking about let's get a Chicago tournament with like rappers. Yeah, yeah. Make, you can make it for charity, make like a fundraiser, That'd get your be, teams. Man, I really want to do that. I want to get just like a, a couple teams, teams 10, 12. Uh, throw a, I don't know, get Power 92, somebody involved, and just, just like, make a, have a fundraiser for, yeah, you know, yeah. for the well, industry. I've seen them do it for, shit, like, I guess you could say, like, the bigger rappers, but, like, local scene ones, it's like, all right, we're going to show you how to really do this. Yeah, you know, and there's a lot of cats in the local scene that, A, play ball, B, that care about giving back to the local scene. So, like, that's really why I want to do it. Like, I don't, I like, I just like balling, you know what I mean? Like, one it's, of my, it's a good time. Get a DJ my, there, play, yeah, some, yeah. play everybody's music that's in the tournament, get a little host. So one of my, one of my biggest goals in like being an artist, being a rapper, even trying to like act or whatever, is I want to play in the NBA Celebrity All-Star Game. Like, mm. like that's on my bucket list, you know what I'm all saying? Right, so right. that's one of the things I really want to do. Keep pushing, yeah, I will keep doing that. I want to do that shit for sure. Top three rapper hoopers that you've seen play, from the 2 Chains to the Snoops to the Chris Browns, J. Cole, who else? Who's a few, who's a few rapper hoopers? All right, so uh, that I've seen, Cameron's real nice. Okay, okay. Um, two Chains is definitely nice. I put them as my top two. Probably Two Chains before because he actually went to college. Uh, I've seen Dave East and J. Cole are good too. But a uh, sleeper that don't nobody talk about, Daylight. Daylight? Battle rapper, the battle rapper Daylight? He's a hooper? Daylight can hoop. He can hoop, oh, bro. Okay. So can Hitman Holla. Like a couple of those dudes are ballers like they get it in okay yeah, we gotta, so, gotta check them out so man. hey daylight if you watching this you know what i'm saying like oh I, I need the one-on-one i need the one-on-one with daylight i called him out on instagram uh, on twitter one time and he responded to me i don't know if he remember responding but next time we're hey, in the same place you got a response that, next time you get still, a phone yeah. call damn hey, hey where you at you want next time me and daylight are in the same place i'm calling him out we're gonna play for money i don't even care okay. yeah yeah hey, make part of a music video it's all, all Something, good whatever fun. yeah so uh what are you doing moving forward? I say you just finished the album. You yep. recording some new EP, some singles, doing uh, the house music, EP maybe? Bro, I got so much going on right now. Um, quarantine, COVID was like a semi-blessing in disguise, you know what I'm saying? Like so, kind of, People want to say it, but they don't want to say yeah, it. Yeah, like, of, you know, you know it's like so many other things hurt happening to people, like people dying and stuff, you know, people getting sick. And like, I don't want to say it's like capitalizing on a situation, but it is, you know what I'm saying? Everybody's inside, when everybody's- In times of chaos, there's opportunity. Everybody's forced back it. into like, first of all, the general public is forced to reconcile with themselves. Like, they're forced to look inside. There, there's no like, you can't like just go out and drink, go out and like party with friends and stuff and, and drown yourself in your sorrows. At the you gotta look in the mirror. So you gotta look in the mirror. So that's one thing I've been doing. I've been looking in the mirror and like, just really like focusing on myself. Um, but also, you know, it's it, like I said, it's been a, it's been a blessing in disguise because I've got all this time. I've got four months off work. Not that I want to be off work, but you know, what I'm saying I can't be at work. So I've got all this time now. It, I got into collage art. I got into more art, like um, just learning different styles, learning different techniques. Uh, I've recorded damn near two albums now, uh, a bunch of singles. You know, just like kicking back at home, relaxing, just being on my own. I got. 
I'm not pressed for time, you know what I'm saying? I'm not trying to force myself to get something done in a fast amount of time. You're finding what, that balance. And what it's actually doing is making me get things done faster because I don't feel the pressure of like, oh, I need to hit this, I need to hit this time. Because, you know, this is indefinite. We don't know when quarantine or like the actual things are going to get back to normal, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just focusing on making the best of what it is right now. Like, this is the first time I've been on like a radio show, been out since, uh, the, since the beginning of it, you know what I mean? I feel like I feel like it's cool, you know. It's all right. Getting back in the mode of things, I don't feel terribly shook of COVID or anything. It's yeah, just yeah. like just trying to be just safe. Just aware. Of just trying to be safe. Take care of other people yeah, like yeah. I take care of myself. You know what I'm saying? So exactly, just, exactly. So one last question: What would you give a West Coast artist coming to the Midwest as advice as they want to come tackle the city, like you have? Um. So we're more laid back on the West Coast. Uh, we got we got the same kind of hustle. Mm -hmm. um, it's a different pace, so just be prepared for your pace to pick up. Be prepared for your hustle. You like you get really tried because um, Chicago is almost like its own state. You know what I mean? Like it's, it's yeah, kind of like yeah, a city yeah, state, definitely. and it's got its own. So you're you're going with people in like a 25 mile radius. You know what I'm saying? Like it's like 20 was it like 25 square miles of Chicago or something like that, give yeah. or take. You know what I'm saying? So like. You're, you're going up against like three million, four million people. Let's say there's 10,000 rappers in that small radius of people, you know what I'm saying? So you gotta be prepared to consistently be on your grind. Every day, every week, you gotta pop out to shows, you gotta pop out to events. Even if you're not at the events, you just gotta pop out, say what's up. Uh, you gotta be in these studios, you gotta be just out, you gotta make sure your, make sure your face like you gotta be out, out and about. That's all it is about, out and about. being out and about, and just just make your face known, and people will respect your grind if your craft is also up to par. That's another thing too. Is like make sure your craft is up to par. Don't come to Chicago trying to get your craft right. You know what I'm saying? Because you gotta come be, with it. Already. Yeah, come with it because people is already here with it. You know what I mean? And I had to, I didn't come here with it. I had you know I had skills or whatever, but I didn't come to Chicago understanding the level of skill that everybody else here was working with. So I was like, oh shit, I hear what's going on here. And I had to reformulate what I was working with because it was, it was fire, but it wasn't, it wasn't fire. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> I had to reformulate kind of everything to, just to get to this point. And now uh, it's just kind of like reaping the benefits of the work put in behind the scenes. Oh, that's so what, that's yeah, what, that's what get advice. your grind in. Get your grind in. So uh, what are you performing today? Um, so I got this combination of two tracks called, called the Love Sessions. Uh, the first track, <clears throat> first track is Love Made Me Do It. It's from uh, my album, um, Citado, that I dropped last year, 2019. And then I got another song called uh, For The Love that is on a future album. It's probably like two or three albums down, but it's a song that I perform pretty often. So like people are familiar with it. Yeah, and yeah. it's a song that I really enjoy doing. So Preparation. Do yeah. So we'll be back on Friday Night Lights for Orlando Coolridge as he performs. Yeah. 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 Time, weather, and always pass. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Check. Hey yo, let's talk about a thing that don't exist no more And expose the main reason my tribe's on a quest for A universal comic collect Chance to express everlasting imaginative lasting effects But not the cash of the checks or the ass of the sex But those that have the intellect to spread scholastic fresh Pass the test and now last the best And show the passion like Jesus of Nazareth Cause I believe in life after death That when they gone they'll nod and acquiesce If it hits a nerve deeper than that of the flesh Then I know through the flow and the patterns I've let A so-called snow Ball effect form to best describe how you feel when you get the vibe from an exercise powerful mind. Don't allow your third eye to go blind, go find your mind. Don't tell me what it was before. Nah, nah, just tell me what it is right now. I know you felt the love before. Yeah, yeah, just show me where it is right now. Cause it's here and it's there. And I'm trying to take it everywhere. When you see it, it's here and it's there. And I'm trying to take it everywhere. Shine bright as diamond, that's what we own. Be on the Sierra Leone. We go like a two run shot. Bring them home, designated driver, two run shots. Yeah, peace, love, and knowledge. We don't do gunshots. It's boombox, tube socks, in the two gun pop. Look what you 
done got Let's open mind allow it to unlock Get out the shoebox Listen, there's a new song Thoughts and it's a hot commodity As far as I can see Oddities on and out of body odyssey So I gotta see the God in me I gotta dream Seeing stars for what they are That's astronomy I ain't part of the norm I'm the anomaly And every time I write a draft I'm going lottery Push the limit of my pigs With every shot of ink Thoughts are deepest philosophies Taught of Socrates But don't tell me what it was before Nah, nah, just tell me what it is right now I know you felt the love before Yeah, yeah, just show me where it is right now Cause it's here and it's there And I'm trying to take it everywhere When you see it, it's here and it's there And I'm trying to bring it everywhere That's for the love, y'all, that's for the love Silver Patron, tequila, all of my sprite I'm shameless as Frank, drinking at the speed of light But still kill like Frank, yeah, that's cast on sight Shit could get real ugly as the orcs and bride I got the magic with no one, Orlando bound Front to the back like I turn my head around Yeah, I'm talking to your ass, turn your head around Big enough with the talking, time to head on down Who? To the who they who? Make less than play your list Breaking butt down on my pocket tickets Hot box to win with that Thank you. Yeah, yeah, uh huh. One, 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 two. I love girls, love them for the natural beauty. Love seeing your booties on the back of a cutie. Love seeing your movies, love to feel the love due to me. Love for the music, let me speak love beautifully. Love the breeze, love the sand by the seas. Love feeling blessed, so I guess I sneeze. I love getting at you, love we at you. You feel the love in the place, get up, react, move. Cause we love making jack moves. Love sessions in the back rooms. A lot of cats don't learn the love, they learn the cash rules. For that reason, I'ma bring the love back to them. Love, is that you? Love, we back to love, we back, boo. Love is when I hold the mic and let the track groove. The ground show me love, I show it back. True, let the love empower all, hit the factual. That's the love movement, how my tribe quest to generate and circulate the love my best. I stress the love, but don't sweat the love until I got her in the bedroom sweating love. Expressions of expressing love, so the greatest pain of all you can expect from love. But I respect the love and I respect the light. Plus, the most high for giving me the wings to kite because love's a drug. Come on, love's a drug. Come on, love's a drug. You know, love made me do it. Yeah, love's a drug. Come on, love's a drug. You know, love. Love's a drug, come on. Yo, if it wasn't for the love, is there a reason to rock? Is the lack thereof any reason or not? For the love, yeah, the love is why we keeping it hot. Thick as blood, I know it's real, I don't believe in a lot. Picture this, question if love even exists. Could you love unconditionally, deeper than kiss, and reach for the bliss? Love that you speak from the lips, it can cure pain and heal wounds, move through the script. So what is love to you? Well, love to me is hot sex, making love under covers the sheets. Deep, mysterious, speaks many languages. Sometimes Sometimes the reason why people start changing shit It's as small as a dap with your man To play a ball by yourself without a fan in the stand I'm just doing this for the love that I have So if there's something that you love Put up one with your hands And for the love, let me see you do it one more time For the love, let me see you do it one more time For the love, let me see you do it one more time For the love, for the love, y'all You know, love's a drug, come on Love's a drug, you know, love's a drug, come on Love made me do it, yeah, love's a drug, come on Love's a drug, you know, love's a drug Drug. Come on, love made me do it, said If you feel it in your heart, follow that right there If you see it in your mind, follow that right there If you feel it in your heart and it's not quite clear Let love be the light through this dark I share Yeah, yeah, that's a beautiful love Uh-huh, that's a beautiful love Come on, that's a beautiful love